So today lesson is <coughs> we do this uh, short circuit calculation. So short circuit current calculation. The short circuit current calculation are uh, we can use a formula. The formula is a normal flow current divided by the percentage impedance multiplied 100. This means that normal flow current is a any motor or any transformer. They are taking as a normal current at a flow condition. So that normal current is divided by the percentage impedance and then we multiply with 100. So this is the way we can calculate the short circuit current. So then we do this on one example problem. 11 kV slash of 400 volt, delta star 600 kV transformer equals a percentage impedance of the C percent. And then we have to calculate the rate of current and also four current at the secondary and also the uh, four current uh, transformers are impedance. So those the first current at the primary and also the transformer impedance has to be calculated. So that we draw the circuit diagram here. So that will be the uh, primary is a delta connection, secondary is a star connection. So 11 kV is an input and 300 kV and the 400 volt is a, sec a secondary. Second primary is a delta connection, secondary is a star connection. In this case, the percentage impedance is given the full percentage. So we have to calculate the Normal primary flow current. Primary flow current is transformer KVA given the 600 KVA. So the 600 divided by the uh, three phase, so divided by two, three, and the uh, voltage, line voltage. So there will be the 11 KV. So the 600 multiply KVA, so 10 by 3, and uh, root 3 is a 1 by 7, 3 to 1, 11 multiply KVA is a 10 by 3 multiply. So we calculate, so then we got the 31 by 49 MBR. So this is for the primary current. And also there we also have to calculate the secondary current. Secondary current also KVA is a 600 KVA, 600 minus 1, 10 more 3, root 3, a 1 by 7, 3 to 1, <coughs> and secondary voltage is a 400 volt. So divided by 400, you call it 800 CCC MBR. So that, so therefore the primary current is a 34 by 49, 34 by 49, secondary current is a 800 uh, uh, CCC MBR. Then we have to calculate the four current. For garden of the secondary. So for garden of the secondary is the secondary is a full of garden is a we calculate this A and C C C and percentage impedance is four percent. So A C C is divided by four multiplied hundred. You got the uh three five six uh two five six one six uh five six and the so this is for the, the short circuit garden we can calculate. Then also we can calculate the four MVA. So the four MVA is a MVA S A short circuit gardens are mm -hmm. For MVA and divided by the MVA flow is divided by the percentage impedance and multiplied by 100. Therefore, the, we calculate that we substitute the uh, MVA flow is a uh, 600. So we substitute 600 and divided by 4 and 100. You got the 150, uh, 15,000 are KV. We got this is the 4 MVA. Then we also have to calculate the percentage impedance equation. So the percentage impedance equation is a percentage Z equal to the full of current multiply uh, phase impedance divided by the phase voltage multiplied by 100. In this case, IFA is a full of current, ZBA is a impedance by phase, EBA is a impedance by also phase voltage. So we have to substitute the dose for that in this uh, equation so we can calculate the thing. So the, therefore, the, we substitute the 
percentage is there. So those names we substitute. So the uh, primary ingredient have to be calculated. So primary ingredient is the, in this case are uh, the primary percentage ingredient is a full percent given. And this will also have to calculate the uh, I full of garden. Full of garden means a face garden. So primary is a full of garden. If we also we have to on, already know that 31 by 49. This is for the data connection. For the data connection, face garden is a line garden divided by group 3. So we got 31 by 49 by group 3. And ZBA we have to find out. EBA. EBA is a line voltage. Line voltage primary line. Line voltage is EBA is a free voltage, so that this is a uh, data connection, free voltage and line voltage are equal. So that this is a free voltage equal to line voltage equal to 11,000. So we substitute 11,000. So everything we substitute, you got the uh, primary uh, phase and uh, we calculate it, 24 by 2 is uh, how we calculate it. Similarly, we also calculate for the secondary. Percentage Z equal to IFMR by ZBH by EBH into 100. So the percentage Z is a full and full of garden is a secondary line garden given the 800 CDC. This is also equal to face garden because of the uh, star connection. So this is the garden in the ACC. ZBH is unknown. Face voltage have to calculate. So line voltage 400 for the star connection. Face voltage line voltage by root 3. 400 by root 3. And then we calculate. So you call that 13 by 9 volt. So this is the way that we calculate for the primary and secondary face gardens are line garden and also personally invited face and uh, short body short circuits are uh, current and then short circuits are MVA we can calculate it. So here we be there's a uh, uh, electric gas uh, distribution system. So supply is a power supply and then we have to install the uh, protection device. Protection devices will be the circuit breaker or the uh, fuse those have to be Connected and then also the we have to connect the wire line and then connect it to the equipment. So this is the uh, classroom that's a, a standard uh, connection diagram. In this case, uh, the, we have to uh, follow the every uh, protection equipment. So this is the commencement of the circuit. From the this circuit, final circuit. This is the command the protection equipment is the commencement of the circuit. So uh, and these are protection equipment we have to utilize a. Uh, cross a 2 by 5 by 2 of the ES 3000. So this ES 3000 cross 2 by 5 by 2 uh, mentioned about the circuit breaker of fuse must be the uh, operate before uh, for current cross the system and give it to reach the temperature limit. So this is important. So this is the before the four currents are uh, reaching the uh, temperature limit of the cable. Uh, all the circuit breaker, all the production, production devices must operate. So this is the class of 2 by 5 by 2 of AS of 3000. Those they have to be followed. So the, now this, uh, this is uh, included in the uh, uh, temperature limit. You can find out the cable temperature limit uh, in the AS of 3000 A section 5. So it mentioned about the cable temperature limit. And uh, for current inverter is also calculated the equation. For current is a uh, a normal current divided by percentage emitted into 100. In this case, our four current calculate the uh, normal current, how we calculate transformer rating KV divided by root 3 into line voltage, and then 100 multiplied by 100 divided by percentage emitted. This is the way we calculate the four current. So, this is the disk transformer. The distribution transformer is connected, and then we can that this is the line. And also that this is the bus bar, and then also find the equipment secondary like connection, and also equipment like this. So the distribution transformer is a primary a, a KVA rating, and percentage Z is a, a 0 0.045 uh, ohm is with it. And also the this is the line that Z emitted is 0 0.004 ohm, and also this is for the uh, the line current secondary current also given. So in this case, uh, firstly, we had to calculate a full of current. Full of current is a KVA divided by root 3 into line voltage. So this is a KVA 500. Root 3 line is voltage is a 400. So in this case, you call this a, a 300, 721 MBR. And percentage MBR also calculated. Percentage IF and multiply ZPH divided by EVA into 100. So in this case, uh, IF is a, is a percentage Z had to calculate full of current 721. And also the ZBA is here given that the 0.0 are uh, 650 
and divided by the EVH voltage is a 7230 uh, volt, then you call it 11 by 29. Similarly, this percentage impedance is also calculated. So this line current is 721, this impedance is 0.04, divided by the 230 is a line phase voltage and 100. Also, the this percentage impedance also has to be calculated. In this case, the line current is a phase current 721, and here is a 0.006. Y036 into 721 into 100, so you got calculated. So this is the way we calculate the uh, percentage impedance. And also the uh, primary uh, short circuit current can be calculated. So the primary full of current is uh, 500 MBI to root 3 to 4 divided by 400. This is the primary full of current. And here is 11 by 49 is a percentage X, Z, and the multiplied with 100. So this is the this current in the, uh, this line, the transformer, short circuit current calculated. Similarly, we also calculate the short circuit current of the this this part. The this one is a total current is a this uh, total is a supply a normal full of current, and we also have to calculate that this eleven by a nine. Eleven by a nine. So this one is a this transformer impedance and the line percentage impedance half. So transformer impedance is uh, eleven by a nine. Line impedance is, uh, one by two five. Eleven by a nine plus one by two five. We calculate that, and also this by four current. For current is the cell line current is the same, but the impedance are the dead transfer impedance, percentage impedance line round percentage impedance and line to percentage impedance. So transfer percentage impedance 11 by 2 9, line 1 percentage impedance 1 by 2 5, line 2 percentage impedance is a, also 8 by 6. So this is the way we calculate for the four current. So this is the way we calculate for the four current level of the different point. So this is for the, this problem. You can look at the, this problem and then you can see it. So another thing is a uh, pro prospective for current uh, value. So this means that uh, you can determine uh, how much uh, for current happen when the electric force are uh, arising. So this is a residential is a 10 kilo MBR. This is for the prospective for current uh, rating. We call it every uh, residential uh, equipment. So prospective for current can be risk can be can rise up to the 10 kilo MBR. And for the commerce share and the industrial application, the prospective for current will be the 25 kilo MBR. And also the railway land, so railway is a 6 kilo MBR. So this is the pro prospective uh, for current uh, value. It, it can be reached to the best value. So the, uh, we have to determine a circuit breaker side. So in this case, uh, the circuit breaker side must be the appropriate to the prospective for current. So this is the formula we have to utilize. In this case, T equal to K square S square divided by I square. T is a time. In second case, is a uh, material factor. S is a conductor cross section area. I is a effective short circuit current. So those formula can be uh, utilized to determine the, uh, how much time taken for the circuit breaker and uh, protected devices to operate. So that's protected devices uh, operation ties T is dependent on the uh, materials of data and also conductor across in the area and the effective short circuit current. So this is the uh, circuit breaker side and, and the KV side and choose uh, size to calculate the prospective short circuit current. Now things uh, we have to calculate the flow area. So in the, uh, the design diagram, flow area to KV combustion can be utilized. So the AF3000-2018, KVS C3 has to be utilized. In this case, a switchboard side and a circuit breaker side, current and uh, circuit arrangement have to be utilized. So the, uh, in this case, uh, AS3000 uh, addition, so KVS A by 1 is talking about the Circuit breaker rating and follow impedance rating. So that this is about the uh, how the circuit breaker rating and follow impedance ratings are, are related. So this is why we have to look at the there is a eight by one of the AS three thousand. So
So this is for the TVA 8.1. TVA 8.1 is here to read down saying, so this is a protected uh, device at reading. Also, that we have utilized a circuit with a type B, type C, type D. They are operation type, and this is the for loop in them. And also, the for on fuse on the final circuit, this is a fuse rating, and this is a for loop in So that you know the for loop in and you know the protected uh, device at reading, and you can determine the appropriate uh, circuit breaker side. So this is the way we have to uh, calculate the appropriate matching between the protected uh, device rating and the circuit breaker. And also, we install the light wire and socket outlet and equipment and also the for the lighting point we have to determine the illumination level in the meantime uh, so that depending on the illumination level we have to determine how many light points will be required and then we have to determine appropriate circuit size and circuit breaker fire protection small data time alarm need to be that for uh, installed in the area and then so depending on the so your so lighting and the socket on the side, we have to determine the cable selection. Cable selection, if we have to utilize it, it is a 3008 group. And then we also have to calculate the body drop calculation, cable installation method, reference rule regulation. Then we utilize the ES3000 rule. So the, this is the way that we calculate the sort of problem. So the ear three on the eight. So this is the ESR 3000 uh, use of electric service rule.
So this is the way we have to utilize the AS3000 rule to, uh, to calculate the KVSI, AS3000 ASF KVS selection. So those then we have to calculate it. The next one is uh, we determine the size of the pew. Size of the pew can be calculated. So the pew is uh, when the electric current flow into the, the pew wire, this current will reach the starting temperature limit and the pew will blow out. So therefore the heat energy is uh, produced by the pew need to be calculated. So the equation I square are the equation. So I is a current, I is a resistance, D is a time. So the pew is uh, allow the normal current, but the blow out when the excess is current is reached. So normal currents are the uh, starting current of the induction motor because of normal current are uh, short current, uh, short time current because of the, the loss for the uh, long time current. This is only the, the short period of current will be risen because induction motors are very really induction motors are draw the four to five times of full current. So therefore the few should withstand for the, uh, the time because of that when you start the three phase induction motor, the current will be higher than the normal current. It can be risen up to four to five. So this will be the uh, little, just a very few seconds, the current will be risen. So therefore the truth need to be withstand for the, the current. So this is the normal current are uh, calculated. And then the truth uh, characteristic is uh, depending on the current radian, body radian, and the time current characteristic across to the uh, T equal to the P equal to I square are these are equations. So current rating, body rating, and the time current characteristics are determining the Q's characteristic. So the, the Q's are the current uh, operation type can be analyzed to the three, two factor, three arcing type. So the time required for the blowing out, arcing time means the time taken by the uh, occurrence of the arcing. So they are three arcing type and uh, arcing type. So choosing factor is calculated to maximum choosing current divided by current rating of the pews. This means uh, this is a normal circuit here. Here, the um, black uh, wave form is uh, a normal current and red wave forms are the pews current. So the before the flow currents are reaching the, the P value, the pews should be blue out. So this is the cut of Y. Cut of Y, the pews should be blue out. So this die is uh, the pre can die. So the, from here to here is uh, the I can die. So the frame will be the, this is the arcing diagram. The arcing die is here. And then uh, four happens, so this is the arcing die. So the pre arcing die and the arcing die are combination is to the time begin by the required by the fuse to operate. So therefore the fusing factor is uh, important. So the previous are 8.1 of the AS3000 rule. So it shows about the operation time of the circuit breaker and fuse. For example, uh, if you see the 32 and 63, so this reading you see 32 is a quotidian operating current and it's a model, 63 is a arrival starting current, in what time current is it? So this is the thing you have to understand. And then here is a few blue out here, so this is a prospective short current, but here before reaching the maximum point, few things will be blue out. So this is the pre-arcing die, other blue out current will be going down, so this is the arcing die. So this is the few blue out arcing die and pre-arcing die and the prospective currents are diagram. So this combination of the pre arcing and the arcing die is operating time for the fuel. So the, uh, we have to calculate the up force of protection. Equipment need to withstand the short circuit level. This is the IB rating, insulators are rating. And also the protective equipment need to be provide full protection the before damage. So those are the uh, important for the uh, for protection. So the short circuit current is calculated by the, this formula. I have to divide by percentage Z into 100. I have the four circuit current, I have the normal full of current. Percentage Z is percentage in BDM. So the we choose characteristics are the inverter characteristics, depending on the type of fuel, horizontal is a time, but the, but the case is Arkansas MBR, which is the short circuit current MBR, four current will calculate it. So this will be the, the diagram can be drawn. In this case, uh, we can set up the operating time of provide, operate, and then we can determine the appropriate support current level. So this is the development of 
concurrent level and uh, depending on the type of fuse, we can determine the operating time to time to operate. So if you know the time to operate, we can then select the appropriate uh, circuit breaker side or fuse side. So this is when the follow impedance is important because the follow impedance determines uh, the short circuit current value. So the follow impedance ZS can be calculated by the U0 by IA. So U0 is a four to side impedance are uh, used. Uh, normals are operating are voltage, this is U0. ZA is a follow impedance, IA is a current causing the uh, automatic operation of the uh, protected device. So in this case, uh, this diagram, horizontal uh, is a fuse current rating, but it is a current required to blow at the fuse. So this is the way we calculate the thing. So touch voltage limit is a uh, 50 volt AC or the 120 volt DC. So this is the way we calculate for the touch voltage. So this is for the uh, connection of the final sasaki. So this is the main switch and also sasaki sasaki operation is a, this is a same and here is a final sasaki. Final sasaki include the socket outlet and the lighting board. In this case, a same operation is a need to be operated within the five second. Final sasaki is 0.4 second for the fusion protection. So this equation is the k square s square is must be greater than i square t. So K is a factor, A is a cross in the area of the fuse element, I is a current, and T is a fusing current die. So this is the A plus in fuse current equation we have to follow. K square S square must be greater than the I square T. K is a factor, fusing factor, A is a cross section in the area of the fuse element, I is a current, T is a die. So this is the way we have to calculate. So this is for the AS3008, AS3008, so electrical installation gave a, so those, are the, those things have to be calculated, this AS3008 is a, uh, have to be utilized to calculate the, your, your uh, gave a side.
The next one will be that we calculate that uh, this one that pews are gardens are characteristic of the pews. So this is what that this line uh, graphs are determined as a pews characteristic. Uh, this is what a circuit breaker. This one is a circuit breaker characteristic. So this point, the red point is a the circuit breaker operation cut off time. So time current, so this time is a determined by the time current time characteristic. Maximum no current ready and also need to operate the circuit breaker. So the circuit breaker operation cut off the current. So this is what this current characteristic is fused and the circuit breaker characteristic. The horizontal is determined current, but it lies a time. So in this case, a circuit breaker operating mechanism is a uh, uh, operated by a time magnetic and time magnetic function. So this way the uh derating. Derating means that we have to use uh, sometimes we have to use uh, derate the circuit breaker. So in this case, uh for each of 10 and we are circuit breaker, we can only utilize uh, eight or the seven. So this is for the time circuit breaker, this will dating pattern. So we have to use uh, uncertificate for the short circuit protection. Plus a backup fuse for the protection. This is also have to utilize. Sometimes as only circuit breaker is uh, not enough. So we have to utilize the backup fuse protection. So this is for the time circuit breaker protection. When the electric current reaches the uh, predetermined value, it can reach the temperature and then it can cut off the circuit, uh, trick of the circuit breaker. So this is for the circuit breaker uh, uh, connection. So magnetic circuit breaker is we determine the magnetic uh, Magnetization, so the magnetization cut off the circuit breaker content. Here will be the when we the circuit breaker operate, so it can cause the electric arc. So the electric arc need to be uh, extinguished. So then what we do is a uh, uh, for the uh, small circuit breaker, we utilize the magnetization. So the the magnetizations are uh, attract the attract the uh, electric arc. And they are go electric as a cut off by the this bar and the cut electric up will be cut to this uh, pieces and then uh, air is blowing and then, then we uh, extinguish the electric up. So this is the way we uh, make the protection. Okay, this problem. To find a success circuit, find a success circuit, supply a load consisting of the 10 MBR socket outlet and protected by the 16 MBR type C circuit breaker. The internet follow evidence measure at the port short circuit outlet is a 1 by 2 ohm. We have to determine the value of the internet for evidence satisfy the requirement of the AS are 3000. So in this case, uh, we know about the uh, four circuit current. So this is for the protection, the 16 MBR circuit breaker, and then a uh, type C circuit breaker. So we look at the AS are 3000 rule. So this is AS 3000. So the type C circuit breaker. 16 MBR, so that will be the uh, 1 by 9. Follow impedance must be the 1 by 9. So 1 by 9 oh So this is the follow impedance we calculated. So then for that we got the 1 by 9 oh So that will be the uh, 1 by 9 oh The follow impedance. And socket outlet impedance is a uh, 1 by 3 ohm. So this is the uh, measure value. It's a uh, 1 by 3 ohm. That will be table value is a 1 by 9 ohm. So measure value is a less than the uh, table value. So that will be satisfied here at uh, 3000. Because of the, when we, this is the accurately measure the follow impedance. This is for the table. From the table, we know the, the circuit breaker rating and the type we can calculate. So that value must be greater than the real measure value. So if if the value is a greater than measure value, it's satisfying the year 3000. So this is the way this problem is solved. Out. So that this uh, problem is a 
from the table eight by one, we have to determine the maximum value of the follow evidence to cause the pews latest below to operate in the normally the dice. So this means the pew rating is 10 and we are required to win by the point uh, 40. So the 10 and we are point 40. We have to determine the follow evidence. So follow evidence, so we have to follow C that are this one. Uh, Q's rating is a 10 MBR, creeping time is a 0.4. So Q rating is a 10 MBR, creeping time 0.4. Uh, so 10 MBR, 0.4 second. So that will be the 6.40. So this 6.40, we calculate that. So the, this is just a uh, follow MBR. Supply voltage to the level. So to the level, right, the, the follow evidence, you got the current. So 35.4 MBR. So for current, we calculate it. Similarly, Q rating is at 10 MBR, given by 5 seconds. So we look at Q rating is at 10 MBR, given by 5 seconds. So in this case, you can see the 9.20. The follow evidence 9.20. So the follow evidence 9.20, so we shall be two. So supply voltage to the level, follow evidence 9.20. So you got the, the current. So this four current is 25 MBR. So this is the way we calculate it. The next one is a 2 by 2 ohms are quick recovery is a water heater. Two by two kilowatt quick recovery water heater. So this water heater is Produced by the HRC fuel protection. In this case, we have to utilize V75 uh, cable. So, operating temperature is 75 degrees centigrade. So, then we have to find out the maximum current and the fuel to protect and the current carrying capacity of the cable. So, it has to be calculated. So, the, in this case, uh, the, the cable is a partially surrounded saturation. So, this is the anglo saturation. So, the, that will be there's a ID, maximum demand current must be the less than the protected device rating and it must be less than the cable rating. So those things could be the no bound. And also the I2 is the operating current must be less than the 1 by 4 by the IZ, so cable rating. So this is the best two formula must be for the uh, certified. So the, the cable is a 1.5 millimeter square cross in the area. The arrangement for the short circuit protection is a have to be done. So the AR3000 tables are C1, C2, C3 has to be utilized. So in this case, that condition, the domestic equipment are maximum demand condition. So the AS table C1, page 4, CC4 has to be utilized. So table C1, page 4, CC4. <coughs> okay, this is a low group. Low group, the current calculation. So that in this case, uh, The power is given the 2 by 2 kilowatt, sometimes going to the level. So then from here we calculate the current is a uh, 9 by 65 MBR. Uh, 9 by 65 MBR, we have to calculate. So we have to take the full of current. Full of have to utilize. So table is one page for the quick recovery water heater. Quick water recovery water heater is low group F. So you see that our table is a C1. So you see that quick recovery is a water heater. Look look here, slowly water heater. So slowly water heater, quick recovery water heater. So this is a look look at. So across the room, the single domestic installation from the table C1. So there will be the uh, full of current have to be calculated. You have to take the full of current. Therefore, the how to calculate the full of current. Full of current is a volt power 2.2 kilowatt divided by volt to the depot. So you got a 9 by 6 by. So then we take that this will current 9 by 6 by MBR. So this 9 by 6 by MBR have to be calculated. So the, we have to find out there's a fuse current. So the, in this case, uh, we have to utilize the table 8 by 1. Table 8 by 1 or AR3 down there. So this is the table 8 by 1. Move and find out the table 8 by 1. So 4, 6, 6, 6.
B A one one。So this is the eight by one. So the nine by five C is that we can take the ten and the R, ten and the R radian. So ten and the R is that we have to utilize. So ten and the R radian, and then so this ten and the R radian is that we have to calculate the circuit breaker. So in this case, ah, the nominal current is I N. Circuit breaker radian is ten and the R. So that is a greater than the ah V S ah maximum demand current. So ten and the I greater than. Uh, 9 by 5 C, so we have to discharge the pipe. And also the IZ, we have to find out the uh, impedance. So in this case, uh, we have to find the uh, AS of 3008. So from the AS 3008, so later time I will talk about the AS 3008. From the AS 3008, they were 4, 18. So this they were 4, 18. So the 1 by 5 millimeter square is a uh, KVSI 40 MBR. So this is IZ 40 MBR. So therefore the IZ 40 MBR and also the IN is 10 MBR, IB is a 9 by 5 C. So this is the way we uh, determine the KVSI. So I later guys uh, I will talk about the AS of 3 long the A. Okay, so at this stage uh, I have already explained about the, the Maximum demand calculation. So maximum demand calculation is uh, we have to utilize a table C1, page 464. So the table C1, page uh, 464. So there will be the 464. So this is low glue is a F because of the slow water heater, uh, the quick recovery water heater. So Single domestic in installation, we have to take the full of garden. The full of garden, if we can calculate the full of garden, then will be the power is a 2 by 2 kilowatt, the vital current is a 2230 volts, so 2 by 2 multiply 10 power 3, the power 2 that is. So 9 by 5 6 MBR. So this is the we calculate. And fuse calculation. Fuse calculation, where do you utilize the table is 8 by 1? Table 8 by 1 or the AS 3000? Table 8 by 1 is located at the page of 433. Then, so in this case, uh, we have to take the more, so the 10 MBR. Because of the, the current is a maximum demand calculation in 9 by 5, 6. So the product divided again, we have to take the a little more, so 10 MBR we got. 10 MBR, and then so so this is the way we calculate it. 10 MBR we calculate that. so then we have to utilize a C circuit breaker. So the 10 MBR we calculate that. So this is the way we take that 10 MBR. So there will be the uh, circuit breaker reading is greater than the uh, maximum demand current reading. So this is certified. Then we have to utilize the real uh, cables uh, installation. So the cables are installed, we have to calculate that, that they are current. So this is design current. We have to supply, IZ have to calculate that. So we have to determine the cable side. Cable side, we have to utilize the as a 3 on the 8. So, these are the eight, uh, that they are cable installation. Uh, there are two kinds of the cable installation. We install the cable in the air or that we can install the cable in the underground. So cable installing air can be the unenclosed or the enclosed. Unenclosed means the cable just, there are no uh, insulation uh, protection. We just run the cable on the cable tray. Enclosed is uh, we are wrapping the cable with the insulation. Similarly, the underground, there will also be the are uh, enclosed and enclosed. Underground, uh, you know, we play the cable in the underground tap. Enclosed means that we put into the underground conjure on the wrap the insulation. So they are four kinds of the situation. So the A and the B down the A, they are the four situation. If you install a cable in the air and uh, enclosed, we have to utilize a cable as a table three by one. Uh, cable are installed in air enclosed, we have to utilize a table three by two. Cables are run underground. I include a table 3 by 3 and include a table 3 by 4. So those four tables are the major, major table. So now I will look at the AS3 down the A2. So this is AS3 down then. So this who is for the cable installation and the selection or cable across into the Austrian standard. So then we have to look at the cables are 3 by 1, 3 by 2, 3 by 3, 3 by 4. So four tables have to be utilized. 
they are major table 3.1 and 3.2 for the installation in the air 3.3 and 3.4 for the installation underground so that will be the so that will be the table selection uh we have to use the tables uh topic three current rating capacity session three so table 3.1 and 3.2 3.3 3.4 we have to find out so then we look at the table 3.1 3.2 3.3 and 3.4 so we look at the table here those four tables are the major table Table 2. PI is table 3 by 1. Schedule all the installation and the methods. Method for the schedule of the installation and method for the cable. They do have the same current uh, scaling capacity. So you at the end you see the I enclosing A. I enclosing A, we use a table 3 by 1. And then also the table 3 by 2 and closing A. Table 3 by 2 and table 3 by 3 is a valley in the underground. Table 3 by 3 underground wiring enclosure. Table 3 by 4. So there are four kinds of this, uh, table we have to utilize. So table 3 by 1, 3 by 2, 3 by 3, and 3 by 4. 3 by 5 is a 3 by 1 I enclose in air. 3 by 2 enclose in air. 3 by 3 is a I enclose underground. 3 by 4 is enclose underground. So there are four kinds of that table we have to utilize. So in this case, uh, this uh, water heater, in this case, all the water heater electric cable we have to wrap with the insulation. So this is the time it's going to have to wrap it on the uh, cable supply to the water heater. Therefore, partially is uh, stronger with the insulation. Therefore, they will to utilize it. Cables are running in the air and also they are well with the insulation. So they are enclosed. So they will, they will 3 by 2 have to be utilized. They will have to be 3 by 2 have to utilize. So they also have to utilize a water heater, single phase water heater. Single phase water heater is this is a 2 go cable. 2 go cable, single phase water heater. And also, cable are partially stronger enclosed in air. So this is the table 3 by 2 have to utilize. So you see the table 3 by 2. We look at the table 3 by 2. They are item. Item 1, 2, 3, 4. So in this case, are two single go cable. We have to utilize item 1. Three single go cables are item 2. Two single go cables are also utilized all the partially disabled in Konju. And this is the sounded with the disabled, sounded with the insulation. And three single go cable, somewhere with the insulin, this one. Two single go cable, no in, nothing in conju is at this one. Three single go cable, not in conju, this one. So this is the uh, one, item one, two, and two go cable here, three go cable. So now we are using the single go cable, not two go, three go, so that we only interest us in the, uh, from the item one to six. So three single go cable or two single go. Two single go cable, we can select the, Item 1 or item 3 or the items are 5. So this is the thing 1, 3, 5 have to be selected. So which one should be should be well? Item 1 is a under enclosure. Uh, under item 3 is a we put in the conju as well as a partially surrounded with the insulation. And uh, under item C is a not in conju, just found with the insulation. So that this program. The cables are running in the conju, also partially stored with the insulation. Therefore, the item 3 is the most suitable. So, item 3 is the most suitable. So, in this case, uh, we have to utilize a, uh, that one is suitable. So, that we have to further look at the table 4, 5 and column 18 to 19. Table 4, 5, column 18 to 19. So, table 4 for the uh, V75, table 5 for the V90, and table 6 for the these are one one ten. So we look at the table four. So in this case, delaying matter is you can look at the table twenty two. So those tables are uh, have to refer the further tables. So the this program here, we got the uh, partially discounted insulation. So therefore the table four five. So table four for the V seventy five. 
Okay, so this problem is a KVS selection sub program, typical circuit installation and the KVS selection sub program. So, in this case, how to determine the operating current as well? How to determine the operating current is uh, we use the uh, HRC cues. Our crossing the table eight by one is a six point three nine oh. So this is the table eight by one of the HRC cues. So HRC cue is sitting and the in this case, our evidence Z is a C point three nine O. So here I HRC cues. Sixteen MVR. So this is C point three nine O. So this is HRC cue here. So the protected device rating ten MVR. In this case, the protected device rating ten MVR is we already know it, and then also the C point four O. So this is what the HRC cue is a C point four O is a or that follow evidence. So this HRC cues are uh, follow in with them we utilize. So supply mode do that before divided by 6 by 4, you got the 35 by 94 MBR. This is what I do value. So that I do value must be less than the 154 by that IZ. So if you want to select the 154 by that IZ, what should be the I, IZ value? So this will then be divided. IZ must be greater than the 24 by 8 MBR. So this means the TV rating must be greater than the 24 by 8. So the table rating must be greater than the 24 by 8 and the RMA. Here is our AR3 down the 8. You look at the here. If you select the only the 1 by 5 millimeter square, only table rating is 40 and the If you select the 2 by 5, 20 and the If you select the 4 millimeter square, 25 and the This is why we select the 4 millimeter square. Because we have to satisfy with the two condition. One condition is, uh, IZ must be greater than I M must be greater than I D. So across the room that this condition we select the uh, key side. So in this case, IZ I B is uh, 9 by 5 C, I A is a 10, IZ is a 14. So if you select the IZ 14, KV side 1 by 5 millimeter square, it agree with the D formula. But it does not agree with the second formula. Second formula, I do it less than the 1 by 4 by the IZ. How to calculate the I2? Across the I2 calculation, we use a table as uh, 8 by 1. In this case, our uh, uh, protected device ratings are 16 and the are HRC QA utilized. It's given the problem. In this case, uh, for the HRC fuse, it's uh, following evidence is a 6.390. So here, uh, following evidence is 6.390. 16 and the uh, protected device are 10 and the following evidence is a 6.390. So 6.4 is approximate. So this follow evidence, we use a substitute in the supply voltage. So the supply voltage is at 230 volt divided by the follow evidence 6 by 39 ohm. So you got the 35 by 94 and yeah, this is I do value. So the I do is at 35 by 94, greater less than the 1 by 4 by the IZ. So from here you got the IZ is must be greater than the 34 by 94 divided by 1 by 4 by the 24 by 8 and yeah. So IZ must be greater than 24 by 8. So this is why that uh, we can select the IZ at 10, uh, for 40 MVR equal for the 115 millimeter square because it does not agree with the second for formula. Therefore, the, we look at the ASR 3 down the uh, 8 table here. ASR 3 down the 8 table. So we can use the 115 millimeter square because of the current is a 14. 2 by 5 also only 20. 4 millimeter square is 25. So this is why we select the 4 millimeter square. So this is a given selection. Also, they comply with the circuit protection. So these problems are explained about the given selection. Also, comply with the circuit protection. Okay, so for the electric case uh, of engineer, engineer aspect, engineer private aspect. What I explain is that today I explain about the uh, protected uh, device rating, maximum demand current calculation, how explain about, also that I explain about the arrangement of the protected devices, 
Golden Gate Vices can be their short cues or the circuit breaker. Reading, I talk about the uh, percentage emitter and calculation. We talk about, we calculate about the maximum of four current reading. We talk about the maximum four current reading, percentage emitter calculation. We talk about, we also talk about the uh, how method are affecting the uh, installation of the pews and also the pews are reaching. Also the uh, pews characteristic current reading, more reading, time current reading. Also the pewsing currents are determination. We talk about, we talk about the arrangement of the for loop impedance and also that we talk about the circuit breaker operation, how to protect the circuit breaker, and also how to extinguish the fire, also the arrangement of the key base uh, protection device again. So in this case, uh, the two formula agreement must be agreed with the two formula to determine the appropriate of protected device again. And also that I talk about the how to uh, determine the maximum demand garden by using the table C1 and the low group, also the two side calculation, also the uh, cable selection, cable selection. So I talk about the air 3 down the 8, they were 1, 3 by 1, 3 by 2, 3 by 3, 3 by 4. And then we can determine the size of the cable. And then after, although you got the appropriate size of the cable, and we agree with the uh, first formula, I be less than I and less than IZ, it does not agree with the I2 less than the 1 by 4 by the IZ. In this case, uh, why we can say we are using the HRD pew. We determine the follow impedance by using the table 8 by 1 and the sublime voltage by the follow impedance. Current is at 35 by 9 volts. So this current and then also the uh, from uh, subdivision the formula, we must calculate the IZ value. IZ value is 24 by 8. This 24 by 8 uh, is uh, not agree with the 115 millimeter square because of the current only 40 and yeah. Therefore, uh, we go back and look at the table uh, 8. AS3 down the AS table, and then we can determine the appropriate uh, uh, cable size. So, this uh, lesson we explain about the cable selection as well as the uh, maximum demand calculation and also the coordination with the uh, prototype devices. Okay, this is for the electric uh, engineer predicate, and then also we can talk about the electric trade practice. Let's look at three prices by one. We also talk about. Let's look at three prices by one for the uh, lower level trade goes. So the last time uh, we talk about the we finish at uh, thirty two. So then now we finish at page thirty three. This is for the higher le uh, levels. Uh, Let's look at three. Let's look at three prices. So we're talking about this uh, pollution control. Pollution control means the uh, environmental factors, uh, hazard factors are the effective or the